Hey everyone, my name is Draconix and welcome back to Chivalry Medieval Warfare. This is the start of a 2 versus 2 tournament hosted by Barkus. We're going to jump straight into it. First up we have... Let's see, oh, I could just use this screen actually. Uber and Mod versus Askhold and Julio. It's a best of 7 I believe. Single elimination. Okay, look like Mod's gonna fall almost instantly. And now with his partner gone, surely Uber will fall. And there he goes. First point goes to TPL. They do have team names, but I don't know what they are. Okay, Uber and Mod. Looking to make a comeback now. They do have the armor advantage, both being a knight, and they did gank the one player, Julio will fall, and surely Ashcold could not hold on any longer. They tie it up as a 1-1 each. Very impressive. Oh, and just so, uh, for everyone to know, sorry that you have to put up with this terrible mic, but I have ordered a proper desktop microphone, so that should be much better. <laughs> Oh wow, ooh, Uber with a double! Killed both of the enemy and they're just piled on top of each other. Yeah, this is single elim elimination, so first team to get to seven wins. Well, moves on and the other team is eliminated. Nice team play by Uber and Mod. And Mod takes both of his uh, opponents down. Takes both the kills. <laughs> See, a 2 versus 2 tournament is a lot more complex than a 1 versus 1 because you have to account for somebody that could be behind you. Look at that type, <laughs> they traded who they were fighting. It's now a 1 on 1. Oh, and Mod with a rainbow takes off Julio's head. Damn, that was, um, that was certainly something. Maybe moving the mic away from my face a little bit will help. Julio looked like he was trying to support his teammate. Oh, and the turnaround by Ascold gives him the win. They are still two wins down. Still easy to come back from there. Look at that pile of oh and oh my god, Ascold has done so much damage. But Ascold will fall first, and the gank is real. Julio will fall. I forgot the sun is behind me now. I don't want the sun to blur my screen. Ascold will take the kill on Mod, but once again it is a trade. I think Ascold is now going for a regen. And Uber will take him down. And these warriors, oh my god, they are everywhere. Nope, oh, apparently I'm inside of a tree. Oh, and here comes the gank. Once one falls, it just turns into an absolute gank fest. And there it is, seven wins go to Mod and Uber. They advance, and Ascold and Julio are eliminated. It's a shame you got two points out of it, but Jesus Christ, Uber and Mod played very well. They definitely deserve the G. And they threw down a nice GG, well played. Isn't that nice? Well, I guess I'll see you when the next one starts. See you then. Welcome back everyone, match 2 is underway, Rakrab will, with the teammate Kalis, I don't know how you say that, 
We'll be versing Floor and Barkus. Barkus, oh wow! Barkus and Floor doing well as a team there. That was very impressive. Good coordination. Barkus has. Oh my god, that target switch to support his teammate was genius! But he is now on a 1v1. Barkus is a man at arms and he will take the kill on Rook Crab. It's okay, he can come back for the Mason team. Oh! Trying the rainbow did not work. Barkus in a 2 on 1 will go down. Or should I say that was a 1v2? You know, I'm just gonna call this little fucker here because that name is ridiculous. That's that's not rub. Oh, Barkus! That target switch was amazing, and he takes both of them down. Damage being done, and uh, and damn, Barkus again taking both kills. He is the real MVP. It is now a oh, Barkus falling back from the person he was fighting to support his teammate. That may have gone a bad way though. Barkus in a tour on and will go down. It's 4 2 to Barkus' team. Oh wow, Flo gonna pick off Notrub. And Barkus will bring down Rukrab. It's still all to play for, they can make a comeback, they just need to play more of a team, but oh my god, Floor with that one strike will bring down two opponents, and I forgot, I am in the sun. It's match point for TPL's team. I always forget about the damn sun on this map. And there it is, the victory will go. To Barkus and Floor, Notrub and Rukrab have been eliminated. Damn, that was a quick one. And what a way to finish match two. Hmm. Welcome to match three. Aetius and Thomas will be versing Mr. Rag and Giro. Mr. Rag, as we know, was the runner up in the one versus one tournament and already. They have took one round. Well, one win, should I say. Thomas came for the brandy stock. Alright, his ping will leave him at a disadvantage. And Mr. Rag with the rainbow is a man at arms, Jesus. And he will also pick off Aetius. I don't know whether I'm saying that properly. His ping is close to his competitors. Trades for days. And Aetius will go down. It will leave his teammate in a 2 on 1, and Giro will take both kills. Looking really bad for Aetius and Thomas right now. 
They are three zero behind. Uh, Mr. Rag finished Thomas with a kick. And Guru will take the last kill. Thank you, brother. It's 4 0 now. The advantage is in Mr. Rag and Guru's favour. And Otius will go down. And Mr. Rag will then pick off Thomas. Damn! This is just an absolute devastation right now. Now they did try and gank Giri, but Mr. Rag was quickly to reinforce him. Uh, Mr. Rag will pick up Thomas and will then reinforce his teammate to bring down Aetius. Wow, they need one more win and the match is theirs. <laughs> this one has been quite a short one unless it changes quickly. Unless... Oh, it doesn't look like they will make a comeback. Here he goes, he's trying to hold on, but he couldn't hold on. Thomas will fall, Giru takes the kill, and that is GG to Mr. Rag and Giru. They won 7 0. Wow. <laughs> that was that was quite a quick one. I'll give him that. Match four, here we go. We have Sub and Tega versus Stouty and Millen. Already Sub has gone down. Tega using a shield. Doing the old spinnerundies with it, but it, yeah, he's gonna go down. Well, the advantage will go to Millen and Stouty. Oh, Stouty! Oh wow, that rainbow! Millen just brings down Tega and then takes down Sub. Jesus! That's a new 2 0 lead to Stouty in Milan. Yes, Stouty, strong like bull. But penis like shrimp. Oh wow. And Milan's gonna bring down Tega and. Oh my god, that gank is real. Damn. I can safely say that it's not going in the way of LP. So look, they choose their opponents and then they reinforce when they seem to need to. And oh my god, Stouty brought down Tega. Drag stabs will probably be the death of Sub right now. He is trying so hard, but it just it wasn't gonna happen. Two on one. Not easy to come back from. That's a now 4-0 lead to Milan and Stouty. That was a failed rainbow, I think, by Milan. Trying to gank one player and then are going to focus on the second one. And there it is! LP have put a point on the board. They are still down by three. But it is possible for, it, for them to come back. It's not a complete loss. Oh wow, that was a quick one. A few sly strikes and it was all over.
They're both trying to reinforce, but it does seem that Stouty and Milan are doing a much better job. Stouty's on low HP, he needs to fall back. He's low on stamina as well. He can't hold up that shield for much longer. He's gonna fall back and get a regen. But his opponent will also do the same. I was never so with work. Come on, get to the action. That's enough time stalling, dammit. Thank you, brother. Here we go, shield on shield. It's quite hard to get past the shield. Most of the time you just have to drag stab around it. Now that miss by Stouty trying to shield bash will use up a lot of stamina. But he does take the kill on sub still. They only need one more win to take the match. And it's clearly a landslide so far. I cannot wait for my new microphone. I keep dreading the sound of what this one's going to come out as. It's no a one on one. No shield using here. And sub is out of stamina, low on health, and will go down to Milan. That is GG, and well played by Milan and Stouty. Also well played Team LP. It's just the other team fought harder. Just the way it is. Match 5 underway. Clash versus Cube and Big Stupid Jellyfish. Oh wow, looks like they try. oh! For a second I thought that Masterpiece got the kill there, but obviously he didn't, and I think Big Stupid Jennifer's took both kills there. They will get the lead. Hmm, Big Stupid Jellyfish and Cube taking the early lead. And I was right, Big Stupid Jellyfish took both kills in that one. Oh wow, that cube with the mole that can one shot a knight. And then it is cube, then picks up two kills in the second one, and Big Stupid Jeff kills him for some reason. Hmm, that's weird. Masterpiece now going with the mole. Wants to one hit his opponents. And Big Dan picks up both of the kills. That was a good strategy. You see, Masterpiece there. See, normally the Maul can one-hit a Knight. But if it doesn't, because you need a critical for that, then it will cause a hell of a lot of damage, leaving any attack able to kill a Knight after that. So Big Dan was the supporting player there. You are honestly really lucky to survive on Maul. But Masterpiece was up against two players at that point. Couldn't really do much. And then Cube takes off Big Stupid Jellyfish's leg. Just because why not? Everyone team kills every now and again. Oh, too far. Masterpiece is going to go down. It is a one on one, but Big Dan has no health. He's low on stamina. And there he will go down. Big Stupid Jennifer takes the kill. They have a 4 1 lead. Maul has been erased. Everyone going for Mesa now. Or Sword of War. Jesus Christ, that gank. <laughs> the big tan's going to go down. GG.
Jesus! Masterpiece and Big Dan do need to play a lot better as a team and a nice rainbow by Masterpiece will bring in Cube. Oh, a nicely played Masterpiece. He picks up both the kills there. Well played. I think there's only three more after this one until the quarterfinals. Oh, and Maul has made an appearance again. And is that lag? I don't know, but um, Cube hammered both Clash members into the ground. That was um, weird. What's this? A man at arm squad now? Well, Cube's gonna get one hit. Watch out for that dagger, it is dangerous! And what the fuck was that? Um. It seems we have encountered um, some kind of Dragon Ball Z fighting style in chivalry. What the fuck was that all about? I think the server's paused the server just to give it time to recover maybe. Is that what you're doing? I don't know. Come on, it's got to start sometime soon. Come on. Sometime soon now? Yeah, there we go. A nice pause, just let the server catch up. Yeah, you don't want to trade with the mole. That's going to be the death of you. And the victory will go to Big Stupid Jellyfish. And Cube, they fought very hard and deserved the win. Well played, Clash members, Masterpiece and Big Dam. You are eliminated, but well played.